the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Number two, what is the second principle that we need to engage if we want to strive for mastery please write this down understanding and engaging the laws and the principles of the kingdom the first is understanding prayer the second is understanding and engaging the laws and the principles of the kingdom i can spend weeks after weeks teaching this understanding and engaging the laws and the principles of the kingdom that means your mastery in this kingdom is based on the degree to which you understand and engage the laws and the principles of the kingdom remember our initial scripture that he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully matthew chapter 16 and verse 19 please someone is rising to a point of mastery in the name of jesus matthew 16 19 and i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven say the keys of the kingdom please shout it one more time say the keys of the kingdom and i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loose in heaven now king james did not do justice to what this really means the expression is that you have a a way of seeing what has been bound in heaven then you now bind it on earth give us amplified amplified will give us a clearer picture of what the bible says now listen i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever you bind declare to be improper and unlawful that's what binding is on earth must be what is already bound in heaven are you seeing now and what is already bound whatsoever you lose declare lawful on earth must be what is already loose in heaven he is saying that you have the power by access to the keys of the kingdom through knowledge you can know what has been declared from the realm of the spirit to happen in your life and with these keys you bind and lose with this key you declare lawful and you declare unlawful as far as your life is concerned the keys of the kingdom you gain mastery by holding the keys of the kingdom in Luke chapter 11 and verse 52 Jesus calls it the key of knowledge Luke 11 and 52 he said woe unto you lawyers for ye have taken away the key of knowledge ye entered not in yourselves and them that were entering you hindered what wickedness you didn't enter into that realm of mastery through knowledge and those who now want to enter you are stopping them jesus said woe to you he cursed those who were trying to stop people from gaining exact spiritual understanding listen carefully every time any dimension of the kingdom does not seem to open up to you it means there is something wanting as far as your spiritual knowledge in that area is concerned every time any dimension of the kingdom does not seem to open up to you it means that there is no knowledge in that area or there is insufficient knowledge in that area leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 and moses said this is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you there is what you must know that activates what you do and the Bible says the glory of the Lord will appear unto you 
believers listen to me your prayer this night should be psalm 25 from verse 4 and 5 psalm 25 from verse 4 and 5 it says show me thy ways O lord teach me thy paths verse 5 lead me in thy truth and teach me for thou art the god of my salvation on thee do i wait all day he said teach me open my eyes so god to see take away this age-long ignorance in my life i want to gain mastery to knowledge i'm tired of being afraid going out in the morning and wondering if i'll come back i must fortify myself with knowledge i'm tired of being afraid because of what is happening around the economy i can rise through mastery and gain knowledge of the laws of the kingdom most of us know that moses saw the glory of god but i will tell you the first thing moses asked for was not the glory of god exodus chapter 33 there were two requests that moses made the first was in verse 13 and the second was in verse 18 please let's look at it quickly now therefore exodus 33 13 i pray thee if i have found grace in your sight he says show me now thy way show me your way was his first request then you go to verse 18 and he now prays a second request and he said i beseech thee show me your glory there is a relationship between his ways and his glory show me your way show me your glory so the bible says he made his made his ways known to moses but to israel they only saw his acts the results without gaining mastery on how to reproduce them hallelujah listen to me ladies and gentlemen when i found this truth i made up my mind that i was going to learn the laws of the kingdom no matter how many I will search for them one by one by one by one by one until I gain mastery. I will study and restudy and restudy until my life becomes a capture of these principles. Most of you have not mastered the laws of the kingdom. I submit to you. And I submit to you that it's not as easy as it sounds. It takes a lot of dedication and intention to say i'm not going to live my life shadow boxing i will learn these principles every facet of your life has the ways of god that control it finances your health longevity ministry influence there are laws of the kingdom please pay attention you see we live in very troubling times right now and so many people are already troubled and perplexed wondering what will become of my life your immunity in the days that we live is the fortification that the knowledge of these laws provide for you these laws can surround and secure you like chariots you can know of a truth that you will stand the test of time because these laws are backed up by god's own integrity hear what i'm telling you the spirit of death will look for everybody including you i don't mean to scare you but it is the truth if you do not know the ways of god to keep yourself alive you will be surprised thinking you will not die till you die the spirit of poverty will look for everybody including you even jesus said satan cometh to me but he does he did not find anything but he came are we together in this kingdom our defense is based on the power of the laws of the kingdom that we understand and we engage for tonight i will take two of these spiritual laws listen carefully and then we'll pray we'll continue next week I hope someone is learning God of heaven these laws are so powerful and irrefutable that if you hang on to these laws 
and you learn these principles ladies and gentlemen your life will be a surprise even to you are we together the first law is the law i call it the sacrifice of total surrender just write it down the sacrifice of total surrender first corinthians 5 14 and 15 the sacrifice of total surrender second corinthians 5 14 and 15 please give it to us the sacrifice of total surrender it says for the love of christ constrained us because we thus judge that if one died for all then we're all dead verse 15 please look up it says and that he died for all that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him which died for them and rose again the sacrifice of total surrender it all belongs to you oh, oh, oh it all belongs to you it all belongs to you oh, oh, oh. matthew chapter 16 and verse 25 this is one of the most fundamental principles for the making of champions in the kingdom this law is a sacrifice it will take everything from you but it will give you everything you want to gain mastery in the kingdom learn the ways of god for whosoever will save his life what will happen to him you will lose it and whosoever will lose his life for my sake that person will find it let me tell you this you are not ready to do business with god until you die to yourself there are two things you have to conquer sin and self if you conquer sin you are still not free it has to be sin and self what an unbeliever needs to conquer is sin what a believer needs to conquer is self both must die for you to rise except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies it abides alone i want to show you a very powerful but neglected spiritual law for as long as god is still something you use to make a good life for as long as god is still a deity that you use to be a champion you use him to get prosperity you use him to get this forget about certain levels of mastery not with power not with wisdom if it is the god of the bible that you want to see him stronger mighty in your life it must be the law of complete perfect unassuming surrender another word for it is death i know you don't like what i'm teaching you but please hear me if you are striving for mastery you have to obtain grace from god die to your desires die to your feelings die to whatever it is anything that is not the christ i have been crucified with christ nevertheless i live there are many people who want to gain mastery over the anointing they just see wonderful things happen they want anointings they, no you have to be dead god does not trust you when you are alive to yourself your tendencies the variables are too many when you are dead he can give you money because if you give it if you keep one million on a dead man's body you come and meet it there but if somebody is alive even if he's sick and you keep one million there you will come and find seven hundred and fifty thousand. he didn't go out yet the money left the tendencies of men are we together <laughs> let me tell you this there are many believers that take god for granted they think god just place abracadabra they pray all kinds of prayers they want high level power they want this level of grace they want influence 
and the price of death is a price they are unwilling to pay i tell you sincerely behind every strange dimension of mastery and grace is blood dripping on that altar the price for life i have taught you is death the size of god is so heavy if you carry him alive in yourself it will kill you listen to me many of you here desire higher levels of grace you want to see god use you so mightily you know what it means to die to yourself it means there is nothing and no one that will ever have the ability to replace god in your life to die does not mean to throw away your plans it means to demote them to a point that god stands at the epicenter of your life lovest thou me more than this many believers do not know let me tell you if you like fast for one year if you like pray every day for the rest of your life if you like do whatever you do if you do not cross the gate of death forget about mastery and power with god when God comes to meet you, he would demote everything that is him. Let me tell you how God demotes it. He does not demote it by asking it to go down. He will allow it to fail you one by one till you are left with nothing. And you will come and say, God, I thought it's a job. I thought it's this one. How many of you can give up everything for Jesus as you are sitting? I know you will easily lift your hand and say me. And I tell you, don't be careless in lifting your hands because he will come to you. It's a very difficult law that you need the grace of God to keep. Because remember, you've spent your life building your reputation. You've spent your life fine-tuning your ambition. And here comes the king of glory pushing everything and wanting to take that place. It's as if you don't have a life again lord you want to just come and damage my life and my self-worth and he tells you i don't kill i only kill to resurrect i give you another body a life of beauty and glory help those under the anointing you want to see the power of god you want to see the grace of god forget all these things I'm t i know what i'm saying you package seed offering come and drop it it will not impact that realm on you our, our, our generation just believes that money does everything. Just squeeze an envelope and drop it. And you want to drop a realm of power that only death, death can take you. No, sir. There is a place for those things, but that is not it. Total surrender. Total surrender. That is the price. Your prayer now finds value. Your word study now finds value when that surrender is in place. It's a sacrifice. I beseech thee, brethren, by the message of God, that you offer your bodies unto God, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. He calls it your reasonable act of worship. Do you know what it means to be surrendered? You lose the ability to tell God no. To be totally surrendered means you have killed the option of no forever. Whatever you want, my answer is yes. Whatever you say, no more argument with you. You are final authority in all things. Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son. And Abraham carry the son to go even jesus himself that was the law that he engaged he came to the earth in obedience to the father even when he didn't the bible did not hide the fact that jesus himself didn't want to die go and read your bible in gethsemane the bible tells us his prayer content father if it be thy will jesus shift this cup away from me but he said nevertheless not my will that is the language of men who have died lord truly this is what i've desired but nevertheless not my will 
not my will man of god not my will businessman not my will all this our intelligence where we push god out of our lives and say get out of the way god you don't know i am a nigerian we keep crash landing because we don't allow the wisdom of god to take precedence nevertheless not my will i will keep telling you this I love you so much with all my heart but if the God of heaven will ask me to close Koinonia now I stand before the God of heaven to tell you that this will probably be the last service that's it don't say you love him more he will test it more than what more than what is someone learning now you want to strive for mastery you have to get to a point where your mind is spiritually minded spiritually minded lord if it is for you there is nothing i would not do for your glory i will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king for your glory lord i will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king i wanna be where you are gotta be where you are listen can i tell you there is nobody sitting here or standing here including the man speaking to you who has the power to give your all no you only have the power to give god access to and to be enthroned above it nobody has the power to give everything you can only give god access to take everything believe me there are things that are too precious in your life they cannot go you just have to give him access and say lord i don't even know what i'm doing but you must be my god ah. hmm. gotta be where you are gotta be where you are i want to be where you are you see let me tell you believers hear me when you get to this realm where nothing else matters to you anything that comes close to god has already failed because god is in a position jealously guarded god says you've done this for me i know the things you should want and look for and since you have prioritized me you will begin to see things you did not even pray for look let me tell you fearful is the man who pushes past that realm of pain and gets to that point where in reality and in experience you have enthroned jesus above any and everything there is nothing god will not give you believe me when i tell you this i've shared with you my experience where god told me son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you please help them if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you there is nothing there is no one who compares with you i take pleasure when i worship you i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure hear me there are many of you looking at me right now you are only in church because of the need that brought you you are only in church because of something driving you one altar from your village pursued you and you ran to the house of god that is important you are welcome but can i tell you you must get to a point with god where you say lord i'm no longer playing games i mean it seriously whether you bless me or not you are still my god whether you prosper me or not you are still my god whether my requests are answered or not you are still my god i'm not playing this church business with you of exchange where i say give me breakthrough for my loyalty you are not a politician 
everything let it be yours can i tell you this it is a very painful decision but if you make that decision where everything belongs to him your life your reputation your strength your energy now you have entered the realm of power now you have entered the realm of favor now you have entered the left the realm of uncommon grace now you have entered the, the realm of wisdom where you become a friend of god it takes death to be a friend of god all these songs people just claim i'm a friend of god do you know what it means to be a friend of god can i hide this from my friend abraham The realm of friendship is the realm of revelation. He comes to you. Believers, hear me. We need to teach the church of the Lord Jesus Christ that God is not all about miracles. That God is not all about breakthroughs and signs and wonders. I'm not saying they are wrong. But let me tell you, if all we keep chasing after, prostituting around, just miracle, breakthrough, power result money no you have to move past those realm and get to a point where you say lord you are my everything there's no plan b there is no plan b we die here there is no plan b i'm not just trying to use you so that if something works no for as long as you have options to god forget about gaining mastery forget about seeing his power and his glory man of god if you still have plan b as to who empowers you god will never come to you the sacrifice of total surrender so then death works in us that life will work in you don't you think you just stretch your hands at sick people and say be healed and then they are healed god is not a magician don't think you just sit down and say where is my destiny helper come and bless me no after this series we are getting into the series where i'm going to be teaching you on covenants and you will learn i will show you something very powerful that will change your life when you go and meet occultists and these people who walk they don't hear anything like word of mouth i'm going to be loyal i'll be serious and nonsense you are just talking nonsense bring a piece of paper they say nonsense a paper that you can tear is your own blood you bring i hope you know for satan to take you serious you must bring your blood and then they cut they, they will open so you've, you've seen these things in nigerian films and the rest and then they make some incisions and now satan can be sure that you are serious with him what makes you think you just fold your arms and casually emotionally come to god and say god just give me one billion plus anointing for nations i promise i will serve you and you think god is so stupid you say i love you i died for you take it no there is a realm of death where he's the one who brings you alive you no longer live for yourself otherwise you can pray and pray and pray and god cannot trust you it will be a risk to give you that kind of power it will be a risk to give you that kind of pedigree it will be a risk to give you that kind of wealth why am i teaching you this i truly believe with all my heart that we're entering seasons where matthew 25 is about to be replayed in the church you know what matthew 25 is the parable of the talents god is coming like a mighty wind upon believers and he's beginning to trust them with things for nations i tell you this you will start seeing god give gifts to men in spectacular ways you will start seeing god trust men with graces for territories and nations the question is can your death afford you that gift He gave unto one five talents. He gave unto one two talents. There are prophets that will rise like never before. There are apostles that will rise like never before. There are businessmen that will rise like never before. There are politicians that will rise like never before. You will see levels of power that will dumbfound principalities and powers. But let me tell you, 
the price is not just fasting the price is not just prayer the price is not just bible study the price is dead all of you must be on that altar for that fire to come I lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm your friend Help me find a way Bring me back to you Hey Hallelujah. By this teaching tonight God is already answering someone why is it that some things look hard God has seen that there is a measure of death you are unwilling to get into that is why certain levels of power and knowledge and wisdom may not easily come to you God has vetted you that was his listen the hand that wrote in the days of the king king I think that was Belshazzar also also the hand wrote and hear what Daniel interpreted the writing to be mene mene tekel ufesen he said you have been weighed so God weighs men you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting I weighed your motif I weighed your desire for wanting that business to work I weighed your motif for wanting the anointing I weighed your motif for wanting a great vision I found it wanting let me tell you sincerely there are some things in our lives it's not the devil causing it it is that the level of death we need to submit to to allow that magnitude of blessing we have not yet attained it businessman it does not take god anything to arrange systems that bring you millions and billions i assure you this God of heaven has shown once and again that the cattle on a thousand hills belong to him but there is a level of death you know what it means to sit down with hundreds of billions in your account in cash and assets and still roll on the ground before God go and ask Solomon what happened to him go and ask King Solomon Solomon who saw the manifested presence of God twice everything he wanted he had but he got to a point in his life where the Egyptian women turned him and he forgot the God of heaven. He wrote the book of Ecclesiastes as a backslidden man. Death. Hmm. You are striving for mastery. The Bible says, He that strives for mastery is not crowned, except he strives lawfully. We need to pray and ask God to purge our hearts vet our tendencies and remove anything that will stop that weight of glory from resting upon us that is the prayer of the believer in this season to sit down and say lord you see i'm qualified for this is nonsense you must cry and tremble before god and say lord i don't even know my tendencies myself can i tell you the truth i don't mean to insult you and i don't want you to feel bad there are many of you who have been in this city for many years and many decades you are well-meaning christians and yet you don't seem to have passed beyond certain doors i will tell you what is wrong you have seemed to do everything right there is something god has seen in your heart that if certain weights of glory rest upon you and that thing has not died it will end up being a disadvantage it's like giving a little baby an AK-47 and showing the baby how to shoot the baby can turn it to himself and shoot and kill itself
create in me a clean heart he said renew a right spirit you can have a wrong spirit not just a demon spirit a wrong spirit a wrong motivation renew a right spirit within me this is only the first law so that when you see the unusual exploits that God is doing through men and women across the globe please do not think it's just luck and do not think it's just impartation there is an altar with blood dripping on it an altar with blood dripping on it an altar with blood dripping on it a token of death my question to you is are you willing to just keep playing Christianity playing nominal Christianity or you are really ready to dive into this this river of seriousness and mastery with God to say Lord I know that the thoughts you think towards me are not thoughts of evil but of good to bring me a future and an expected end I'm ready to burn the bridges behind me as for you I am I am with you forever and for the rest of my life As for me, there is no plan B. There is nowhere else to go. The bridge is born, long bond. We live here, we die here. There is no plan B. You have plan B and C and D and E and E and F. That's why when you say, God, I give you everything, all the other plans say, What of us? We are here too. You must burn everything and say, Lord, it's all about you remember that our song jesus no this is for you it's for your glory and your fame it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are god and i surrender listen Tonight is not just a teaching. If I just stop on this law alone, it is sufficient for the night because we are going to take out time and pray. And in that prayer, you see, I'm going to leave you and God alone. I'll be doing my own here with my own God. And you are going to have to pray and say, Lord, you are the one who knows the truth of who I am. You are the one who knows the tendencies in my heart. You are the one who knows what is blocking what I see in my visions from happening in my life. There are, there are realms I should have entered now. There are dimensions I would have attained. There are some of you, everything you have seen in your visions, not one of it has come to pass because you are too alive in yourself. It's a risk for God to allow prophecy to manifest in your life. I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the reins or the motif to give to every man. Jeremiah 17. Please give it to us. 9 and 10. 9 and 10. We are going to cry a cry in this place. It's going to be a cry of repentance, a cry of handover, a cry of rededication. The meeting is still on. Tonight will not be fruitful if all we do is just talk about surrender. It's something that must be practical in our hearts. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Verse 10. It says, I the Lord, I search the heart. I try the reins or the motif even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. businessman i tell you you have not handled the wealth of the kingdom yet until you die god can take a man's prayer point and bring to you you see let me tell you this this is the reason why often god will pick people who are nobodies and honor them you know why because of their lowly estate it is easy they are malleable 
they are not full of themselves they don't they know they don't amount to much in themselves so it's easy for them to give everything and god says i know you can't speak english very well but your yieldedness is what i'm looking for so i can make do with your limitation in english i will still make you an apostle i will still make you a prophet i know that um the way you are there are disadvantages to your life but what i'm looking for is the death and the yieldedness many of us bring our qualifications and everything to god and he says this is not what i'm looking for i know what i'm searching for a vessel that is yielded a vessel that is dead a vessel that is yielded a vessel that is dead and he can pour that oil upon you and he can pour that grace upon you look let me tell you it's a speck spectacular sight to behold when you see a vessel that has been brought like a reed out of fire if you came to church tonight to encounter the god of the bible if you came to church tonight because you are serious with god if you came to church tonight because you truly mean it with jesus if you came to church tonight because you know that the spirituality of your life is what controls everything around your life then it was a good reason to come to church tonight but if you came to church just to sign the register that i'm in church today or you came to church to just escort someone for the fun of it i love you with all my heart but i may tell you it was not a wise reason to be in church i submit to you i will say this and we'll begin to pray people see the things that god is doing in and through my life and most times most people think this thing is just luck or this thing is just about anointing i think it's just an impartation that came it's not it's not true believe me when i tell you it's not all about anointing it's not all about just impartation go behind the scenes and you will find a pool of blood that still drips upon the altar still drips upon the altar still drips upon the altar it is from that that covenant of sacrifice because sacrifice is a covenant psalm 50 and verse 5 gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice hallelujah I've had the privilege of ministering to many people who were involved in occultism or any of these satanic things and I cannot begin to tell you the sacrifices that they make to move them from level to level some of them will tell you they lie down and sleep on graves not in a vision physical graves imagine being in a graveyard only you in the night you are looking for power power for performance or invincibility now you are lying down you want to become an armed robber who can disappear in case they are looking for you and they will give you a strict requirement number one you are fasting day and night there's not like it's not like you are breaking in the night then you are lying down on a grave it doesn't matter what sound you hear you remain there and when they are done with those stringent things after seven days they come out and you just come out carelessly and say i know you can't stand against me let's think well oh let me tell you the truth whether it is through the demonic or through spirituality genuine spirituality sacrifice is a non-negotiable requirement you don't stand up you don't read your bible you are not serious you see someone who day and night he has interacted with spirits physically and he comes to stand and say i will kill you and he say god forbid i won't die you will be surprised our work in this kingdom is based on the covenants your covenant is a voice it can stand to amplify what you represent there are spirits when you speak to they know what they see jesus i know paul i know ask them what they are seeing that makes them count those names the sons of skiva had zeal they went to cast out demons just like that there are many believers who have not satisfied this law and they will go and carry charms and throw it away and say god forbid jesus has died he has won the victory and you find out that people start dying endlessly because they taught something that did not come by sacrifice redemption is real 
but the administration of mastery in this kingdom subscribes to the law of sacrifice not even jesus evaded it when jesus hung on that cross you thought the father would see him crying and says enough the father left him there till he died and that is the father who is love and the cry of jesus eloi eloi lamak sabak tanai you thought the father would say no 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 my heart of love it, jesus still died there can i tell you the truth just because god is love does not mean you will compromise on the law of sacrifice i respect the body of christ i don't criticize men of god it's not it's not in my my office or my call but i can tell you be careful what you hear this is why there is a lot of powerlessness in the body of christ we just get up with arbitrary things that cannot stand the test of time in the midst of the darkness and the evil that is in our world can i tell you the very altars that fight many families was initiated by sacrifice and when we talk of sacrifice we are not talking money because most of the church has reduced sacrifice to money so the moment you say sacrifice people just think offering and they think if i give one million that sacrifice the sacrifice is you not just the money no amount of money will replace you that you go back and you say lord it is not a difficult thing for you to change my story and grant me mastery it is not a difficult thing for you to lift me something must be the limitation and i share with you just one law for tonight death death the sacrifice of total complete surrender can you empty your account if he asks you to <laughs> hmm. can you pack all of your clothes can you give up your cars can you give up your houses if he asks you to i'm not saying you should do it you see now all that emotional prayer now has been wiped away by what i'm saying because these are real things you are emo these are the strings that stop you from moving forward dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny! the face of development lord grant me the discipline